Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about the Balmer series in hydrogen spectrum. We know hydrogen spectrum is explained on explained on basing on Bohr's atomic model. As per that, one by lambda, we have derived this equation in the previous video lessons. Can be said as Hedberg constant of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Here we have assumed Hedberg constant and atomic number as 1 being a hydrogen spectrum. n1 and n2 are the principal quantum numbers. Lambda is the wavelength of the energy emitted when electron jumps from higher orbit n2 to the lower orbit of n1. For a Balmer series, we know electron has to always jump into the second orbit from its higher orbit. So n1 value is 2 and n2 value is when electron is jumping from the higher orbits 3, 4 and so on up to infinity. So substituting these values, if electron is jumping from its immediate orbit, electron is jumping from closest orbit. The closest orbit is n equal to 3, that is n2 equal to 3. As the electron is jumping from the closest orbit, energy emitted will be the least. As the energy is least, we know the formula energy equal to h nu being a photon. Energy emitted is in terms of photon that equal to hc by lambda. So energy is reciprocal to the wavelength. So when the electron jumps from third orbit to the second orbit, energy emitted is least. So it's obvious that wavelength will be maximum. So the maximum wavelength of the Balmer series 1 by lambda maximum can be written like Redberg constant of 1 by 2 square that is always n1 is 2 n2 in this case is next orbit 3 square. So Redberg constant of 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9. So if you simplify this equation further we will be getting 1 by lambda maximum as Rydberg constant of this is 36 this is 9 minus 4 simplifying this so this is 5r by 36 that is 1 by lambda maximum that implies lambda maximum is 36 by 5r where r is the Rydberg constant value and substituting this value, you will be getting this value approximately as 6,568 angstrom. We know this is a visible region. We know human visible region is somewhere between 4,000 angstrom to 7,500 or 8,000 angstrom. So this wavelength emitted or this photon is in visible region. Therefore, the Balmer series is at least Balmer series lambda maximum is visible for a human being. So, this is the only visible region that we get it in a hydrogen spectrum. Now, let us say we have discussed about the electron jumping from the closest orbit. If suppose an electron jumps from highest orbit that is n2 is infinity and of course being a Balmer series n1 equal to 2 as orbit is highest energy emitted will be highest automatically basing on this equation but lambda wavelength is minimum so we can write an equation for lambda minimum basing on this model 1 by lambda minimum is equal to Rydberg constant of 1 by 2 square minus 1 by infinite square therefore 1 by lambda minimum is Rydberg constant of 1 by 4 that implies lambda minimum is 
4 by Rydberg constant. By substituting this value, we can find this value approximately as 3636 uh, angstrom. You might have noticed uh, this lambda minimum is close to the visible region but not exactly visible. Not exactly visible. Therefore, all the lines of the Baumer series are not visible. Some of the lines of the Baumer series is visible. So if you, for example, if you need to calculate, somebody might ask you in the exam, what's the ratio of lambda maximum to lambda minimum in Baumer series? You know lambda maximum is 36 by 5R by lambda minimum is 4 by R. So this value will become 36 by 5R into R by 4. R and R will cancel and uh, this is 9 times. 9 fourths are 36. So the ratio is nothing but equal to 9 is to 5. Like this we can find the ratio of maximum to minimum of the Baumer series. Now, continuing this discussion, if we were to draw a diagram, spectral line diagram for the Baumer series in a hydrogen spectrum, say this is starting from here somewhere, N1, N equal, N1 equal to 1, N equal to 1, N equal to 2, N equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on assume up to infinity and equal to infinity. So the electron in Baumer series will be always jumping into the second orbit. So when electron jumps from its immediate orbit n equal to 3, this will be the value of least energy or lambda maximum. If electron jumps from infinite to this, energy is maximum, so automatically lambda is a minimum. In between, there will be all other lines from the fourth orbit, fifth orbit, sixth orbit, seventh orbit, eighth, ninth. Every time it is jumping into the second orbit itself. So many of these lines are visible, but of course, some of these minimum lines are may not be visible. They fall just before the, say, intra, I mean, visible region that is a ultraviolet region itself. This is all about the Baumer series of hydrogen spectrum. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.